Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I feel like it's been a really long time since we played this game. I'm actually kind of excited to get back to it. Uh, when we left off, we had finished looting the Atomic Wrangler Casino. I was going to do my gambling therein, and then talk to people and do some questing. So let's do that. Hey, Lone Wonder. Great to see you. How are you, my friend? So this, we were, uh, we were derailed by the epistaxis last week. This is our inauguration of the new semi-regular schedule. It won't always be Monday and Thursday. Those are the nights I'm generally going to target. But we'll have our one-hour episodes of the main project in the evenings, twice a week. So welcome to that. Welcome to the new world. I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. All right, so let's talk to the cashier. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? I'd like to exchange caps for chips. How many chips would you like? Oh, I already got Is there... I already got chips, didn't I? I already got chips. <laughs> hey, Apathem, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Hey, Nyron. Oh. No, I don't have chips. Just Welcome kidding. To the atomic wrangler. Here's your chips. A thousand atomic wrang atomic wrangler chips. Here we go. All right. Bet the maximum and deal them out, yo. Sixteen. Soft sixteen. I'm gonna hit. And I'm going to stay. Uh, hey, Reaper. I'm doing well. Yeah, I figure... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that the evening schedule is going to work better for viewers, too, and that more of you will be able to watch these regular episodes. It's certainly going to wind up being better for me. Double down, get 21, and break even. Oh, fuck you, game. Let's try again. Uh, hard 18. I'm going to stay. Excellent. Hard 16. I'm going to stay. And I'm going to lose 200 chips. That's all right. I need to see the... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to Google right quick to see what the gambling thresholds are here for the uh, special rewards so I know when to pop out and grab them. Give me just one second. All right, uh, oh, 10, we're definitely hitting. Hard 20, we'll stay. Yes. Blackjack, love it. Gambling, here we go. 1250, 2500, 3750, and we're banished at 500. That's what I need. Fifteen will hit. Twenty, yay. All right, we've got our first rewards. So let's get out of here. We got a beer. Yay, beer. <laughs> what a reward. <laughs> All right, back to it. Five will hit. Eleven will hit. Twenty-one. Eleven. Double down, baby. Oh, no. Yes! He busted. All right. Fifteen. I'll hit. And I'll stay on the nineteen. And I'll win again. Blackjack! You can break the, ba you can break the casinos really fast with your luck this high playing blackjack. Twenty-five hundred. All right. Exit again. We got whiskey and a dapper gambler hat. Ooh, what's a dapper gambler hat? Nothing fancy. Pull up a stool. 
All right, bet the max again. Soft 17. I'm going to hit. Perfect. Thirteen hit, yes. Break even. That's all right. No problem. Blackjack. It's amazing how fast it goes. Eighteen. I'll stay. Another blackjack. Thirty-six hundred. Hey, St. Louis. Good to see you. Glad you could join us. Twenty. We'll stay. And blackjack. All right, last reward. Let's exit and get it. Rum and nuka, absinthe, and the dapper gambler suit. These are not very good rewards at all. What's the rum and nuka? That's all right. Go ahead and get to our uh, 500. I'll just hit that. Or 5,000, I mean. That's when they kick us out. Double down on 11. I'll stay on a hard 17. A mistake. That's all right. Hard 18. Ah, a bit of a losing streak. Double down. Yes. Oh, come on. Soft 18. We'll stay. Shouldn't have stayed. That's right. Be on top again soon. Good grief. Come on now. 19. There we go. All right. Back to the winning ways. Come on. Yes. Double down on 11. Yes. That's more like it. Almost there now. Hit. What? It does feel pretty good to play New Vegas while I'm fully alert and not have to sleep at 6 a.m. You're absolutely right, Lone Wonder. <laughs> 6, I'll hit. 11, I'll hit. 21. Almost there. All right, that's it. We get the boot. Sorry, but you have reached the jackpot limit, but feel free to explore the other services here at the Atomic Wrangler. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to ex I'd like to turn in my chips. In what current? I'll take my payout in caps. Caps it. Till next time. All right, later, bro. Okay, now those are just the generic dealers. Let's chat with others. Just real quick. Deal with this. <clears throat> All right. Was there anyone upstairs? I can't remember. I don't think so. Well, there is a pack of cigarettes I somehow missed. And there's a whole third floor I missed. What the fuck is wrong with me? Atomic Wrangler Guard. Oh. Two generic goons. Prepare to be roasted.
Now, let's see what's up here. James Garrett. Detected. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Keep moving. Oh, you'd like me to leave your room? Is that it? Well, let me unlock your very hard floor safe and see what's inside. Like, just totally generic loot. That is not what I expected. I expected something at least mildly quest related. All right, though. You'd better get out of here. Settle down, boyo. Go back in. He should have lost detection and settled down. Where the hell is he going? He really needed to go back to sleep, apparently. That's fine. I believe I missed this entire floor. That's a bad sign. Maybe that's why we maybe that's why it's good that we're not playing this at 6 a.m. anymore. Let's see. Alright. There's a men's room. Also has a first aid box. Stalls. <laughs> do, 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 do. assemblies are useless in this game. It's good. It'll save me 10 pounds of carry weight. For a second, I thought this was still Fallout 3. I'm probably going to run out of carry weight again. Close. 
And we are not quite going to make it. <laughs> we got to go offload. That's all right, though. I feel like everybody to talk to is on the first floor, except for James Garrett, who I know we actually do need to speak to at some point, but so it goes. Right, have to go all the way out. Uh, the the episodes of the main uh, main project episodes are still just going to be one hour of Pop War Ellis. Muggy! There he is. Not generally, no, Morellis. I mean, well, crouch walking is not faster when you're over encumbered, Niren. But the, uh, Morellis, generally speaking, no. Things have just gotten too busy. My old job. Let's. I, I, I will say I'm very glad I'm out of it, to be clear, but. One thing it had going for it was a lower workload than my new one. The Halcyon days of the Morrowind and uh, Skyrim playthroughs, those were all old job. I've managed to keep things pretty regular with the new one, but we have lost a lot of that flexibility to just go crazy streaming for hours like I would sometimes do back then with the notable exception of the weekends I'll, I'll hold a gecko steak for hunger that'll be fine It does, and it's also, the current job just, it has a lot more of a future. There's less, uh, much less of a ceiling on my mobility, and I'm doing much, I'm doing much cooler, much more involved, much better substantive work at my new job than I was at my old one. I say new. I've been at the new job for a year and a half now. Um, it's still relatively new, though. Uh, Freeside. Come on. There we go.
Well, we kind of already did a crafting orgy once we hit level 50 and our skills were maxed. Hey, you're the one who's... Hey, two stim packs! That's the first thing one of these guys has given me that's actually useful. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at... All right, well, we're 20 minutes in, 40 minutes to go. All right, let's go finish looting out the third floor, and then we're going to go talk to people. Yeah, I just, I completely missed the staircase on my first sweep. Perils of playing at 6 a.m. All right. <clears throat> now we've looted the building. see who all there is to speak with. We've got yep. Caleb McCaffrey. Something you need, kid? I'm not a kid, old man. You've got a mouth on you, kid. If I weren't busy working for the Garretts, I might give you a few lessons in common courtesy. Get lost. Something you need, kid? What do you do around here? Hunting and killing, plain and simple. So you're a bounty hunter? Bingo. Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, I have more important things to do. Any bounty hunting tips for me? Be quick and quiet, and don't get dead. Something you need, kid? Any bounty hunting tips for me? Do I look like a career counselor, kid? Get lost. Something you need, kid? All right. Okay. Oh. Talk to Hadrian. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror, or are you just that ugly? Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. I thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice, juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Yeah, go on. Scram. All right, so... These three actually end up Mattering. We're going to talk to Francine first. I hear you've been helping out around town. It's much appreciated, friend. What goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. I'd like to see what you have on tap. Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. Okay. I'm looking for a little R&R. &R. Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The prostitutes here aren't slaves. They decide who they service. You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Looking for a little R&R. &R. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Hey, Machine Gunner. Haven't seen you in ages. It's great to have you. I'd like a room. Just a few caps, and it's yours. Never mind. I changed my mind. Couldn't we work out a deal? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well... Needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. 
<laughs> Will I have to shoot anyone? Because I really want to shoot someone. That sounds good as long as I don't have to kill anyone. What kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. <clears throat> Barter 35. This kind of work costs time and money. 50-50 would cover my expenses. All right. 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. You've got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago? Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. That's all for now. Anything else you need? The followers are looking to trade for supplies. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. Goodbye. Talk to you later. And let's talk to James. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Hey, Count. I haven't seen you in a long time either. It's good to have you back in a stream, my friend. The followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? This is news. They could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. How's business? We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Do you have any work you need done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I'll see if I run across any suitable candidates. <laughs> I'll expect a hundred caps minimum for each candidate I'll bring in. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Surely these escorts are critical to your business. How about double? Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions, and I'll pay double. I'll see if I run across any suitable candidates. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. All right. Any idea where I should look for the sex spot? 
The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. All right. Goodbye. Yep. And uh, to answer the to answer the question, Machine Gunner, Tiff and the dogs are good. Um, I actually haven't had a drink since New Year's Eve. It started out just because I was tired, and then it evolved into thinking maybe I could pull off Dry January. And then, after my nasal episode last year, Dry January became Doctor's Orders. So my triumphant return to drinking will probably take place here on Twitch at the beginning of February. Oh yeah, I need to talk to Henry Jameson too. Almost hey. forgot. Shove off, you're making my luck turn bad. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? The NCR thinks pretty highly of me. Let's say I get word to your parents. Speech 50. So you don't have the Omerta's money yet? I'll let them know about that. What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. All right. Let Alex McLafferty know that Henry Jameson's employment has been terminated. Good, good, good. All right, that's done. <clears throat> so now we've spawned the folks we need to collect from, so we can go and talk to them. Down here, oh, yeah, down here near the gate to the strip. Oh, look, we're going to have another one of those thugs to deal with. Uh, amazingly, I didn't one-shot him. Whoa. Here's Lady Jane. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I was hired by the Garretts to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Ah. <clears throat> uh. I need to have perception at seven in order to tell that she's lying. So let's pop a mentat. Hello. Love. Perception. Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. All right, there we go. Now let's talk to old Ben. Oh. Well, I guess first we have thugs to kill. We can talk to old Ben. Hello again. How would you like to work for the Garretts? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? James Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience for more discerning patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Speech 50. 
you're a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence. Your work is art. You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Free side fame gained. Recruit a suave talker and tell James old Ben will be joining the Wrangler. All right. So now there's just lots of dialoguing and loose ends to do these quests for the Garrets, but next we need to head to the old Mormon fort. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let me tackle all those questions in order. Um, my nose is doing really well. We're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph. I'm not crash running. I forgot. Okay. So next, we need to talk to Beatrix Russell. Howdy. Interested. Ooh, got any advice to share? Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't... Oops. I'm not sure how. There was just a, a bleed site that wouldn't stop bleeding. Interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? This would be as an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. When I say escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Um, you'd be an independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. <laughs> Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out turns. Uh, lone wonder. <laughs> this... Nosebleed was the opposite of minor. I lost, I mean, I, I think I told you guys, I lost enough blood that my blood pressure dropped to 89 over 55. I had to go under general anesthesia and go into the operating room. They had to electrically cauterize it in order to make it stop. So, yeah, yes, my insurance covers it. <laughs> it, was, it was not minor. <laughs> All right, we've recruited Franc or Beatrix. Now I need to find Julie again some legion camp got raised to the ground she's probably at night she's probably in her tower over in the corner I don't know the bleed site was like way up in my sinus like posterior here on the right side it started with me blowing my nose literally Welcome. I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies that's phenomenal who did you find the Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? You get your chems and can help anyone who gets addicted. With a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Uh, let's do the top one. 
True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. With a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. All right. There we go. Let's head out of here again. Um, I'm allowed to drink again at the end of this month. I, mean, I could disobey the doctor. The reason not to do it is, uh, I really am supposed to avoid anything that thins my blood. So that includes alcohol. I'm not supposed to take any ibuprofen, anything that has the effect of, you know, thinning your blood or raising your blood pressure. Just until we can be certain that the bleed is fully healed and it's not going to start up again. All right, let's head around back here. Find Grex. Collect his caps. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Collecting money to pay back the Garretts? Whoa, yeah. I guess the Garretts set you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Speech 40. You don't cheat the Garrets and walk away. Cough up the rest or you're rat bait. Okay. Here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> hey, I think I'll make an example of you. Give me your clothes or you get dead. We don't need his clothes. I won't. Thanks for not killing That'll me. That'll do. Mess with the Garrets again Watch and you're out. dead. Oh, there's another one of those suicidal thugs. Two more. Two more suicidal thugs. And Santiago is... This is a generic. I don't know when he spawned in. So I don't think he was there before, but... Now Santiago is in here, I believe. The last guy we need to collect from. Ah, uh, he's back there. Alright, come here, boyo. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. You owe the Garrett's a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a freeside VIP. VIP? The Garrett said nothing about VIP status. 
Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount in Mick and Ralph's. Perhaps you could use Santiago's discount. For 50 caps, Santiago will tell you the super secret code word to get a discount with Mick. Part of 40. I don't even know this discount is worth 50. How about 25 caps? 25 caps will do. Tell Mick Santiago sent you, and the code word is extravaganza. He will set you up. Now you need to settle that debt with the Garrets. Sir, Santiago told you. Santiago has no debts. Speech 50. I'd rather not kill you, but Francine put a bounty on your head. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Bye. See ya. All right. Return to Francine with 600 caps. And now, to wrap this up, we need to head back to Cerulean Robotics. Recruit our sex bot. <laughs> yeah, everybody's loving. Everyone's loving Grex's face. Now, we can release the Protectron. Programming interface. Upload programming routine. Program sex bot routine. Science check. Back. Fisto! Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. That is a mouthful. Let's shorten that to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. <laughs> what? I suppose... No, I suppose I should test you out before I hand you to the Garrets. What? No. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. My pleasure is for you to work at the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Report to the Atomic Wrangler. James Garrett is your new owner. Yes, sir. All right. All right, let me... Oh my gosh, Machine Gunner, subscribed. Thank you so much for the sub, my friend. That's a wonderful gesture. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. You've been a long time viewer. You've, uh, I've always enjoyed having you in the streams. 
good to have you here, and thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. to the casino. Yep. Talk to James and Francine to turn in their quests, see if they have anything else for us. Chum, welcome back. I spoke with Julie Farkas. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. I found the sex spot you're looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Speech 40. First, I'd like to discuss payment. This wasn't a cakewalk. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. Fisto is already programmed to respond to your commands. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. You wanted a smooth talker for an escort? I found one. And who would that be? Old Ben has the experience and skill you need. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. <laughs> if the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. I could use some help. I actually found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? Her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. <laughs> Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. How's business? House may have boxed us out of the strip, but we also don't have to deal with their bullshit. I think now that the followers are working with us, we'll be able to shape up Freeside a bit more. All right. Yep. Liked. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Alright, well, we need to find Francine. Quest completed. Wang Dang Atomic Tango. <laughs> Francine's probably upstairs. Yeah, there she is. Probably not going to like us being in here either. Nope. Nope, we're just going to have to wait. On Francine. Jeez. There she is. All right. You've done a lot for Freeside, and it is much appreciated. 
Here's one on the house. Whiskey. I think I have all the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. If I see McCaffrey on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Goodbye. Bye. All right. Can I fast travel from here? Even though I can't use the transportal ponder? Maybe. There's a little bit more I believe we can take care of. First, we have another suicidal thug to deal with. There. All right, we can fast travel to Crimson Caravan. I'm going to talk to McLafferty and advance that quest a bit, and then... I'm going to end the stream. I know it's about five minutes early, but the, uh, no, not the barracks. But uh, the reason is we're about to launch into a major, pretty major quest chain. And I'd rather stop at a good stopping point, so. Welcome back. The Crimson Caravan Company no longer has to worry about Henry Jameson. Yes. I understand that he's decided to quit outright, and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Okay. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Alright, so next we're going to do Cass's quest chain. So I'm going to fast travel to the Mojave Outpost. And I need some water and some food. And I'm going to I'm just going to enter the bar and we will begin the next Fallout stream by having a lengthy conversation with Cass and launching into her quest chain properly. So, that's what's going to happen on the next Fallout stream. Thank you for joining me on this one. This has been Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Thank you to everyone who joined me live on Twitch. If you're new here and you liked what you saw, I hope you'll consider hitting the follow button so that you can see every time we go live in the future. If you're watching later on on YouTube, I stream at irregular hours, but all of my content makes its way over there. So if you like what you saw, A, please like the video, and B, subscribe to the channel, and you don't have to worry about missing anything. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you'll consider joining our Discord. The link to do so is either in the Twitch channel description or the YouTube video description. The Discord is simply where I make official announcements about the channel, it's where we discuss the games you'd like to see me play, and it's a cool and growing community of people who love video games just like you. I think the... The next stream, despite me saying that Thursdays would be more common, and it's not going to be Thursday this week, uh, it'll either be Wednesday or Friday for the next episode of Fallout. So watch the Discord, and I will let you know exactly when. I hope to see you all there. Thanks again for joining me here. Take care, and bye-bye.